Hey guys, um, it's me. Na Naz or Nazun. Um, this is the third episode of my series. Wow, would you believe it? Two episodes in a row did really well, so why not do another one? Well, that's what I'm doing today. Hey, I mean, schedule is a bit random. I, I can understand that. But, you're totally getting me new episodes early, so who, who am I to judge? As long as I'm making ma maximum effort to entertain you, that's all I need. But, I ain't gonna say to talk for another video. Now let's just get to the season one finale, okay? Alright. Alright. Let's just do this. Let me just check. You better stay jazzed, Acha, babe, because guess where I'm taking you tonight? Don't you dare finish a filthy pun in my presence, Moxie. Size, drinks are on me tonight. Let's hit up the new dive down the street. Actually, sir, it's our one-year marriage anniversary, so I'm taking Millie to Ozzy's in the Lust Ring. <gasps> Do not. I'm sorry, sir. Maybe another time. Oh, it's fine. I, I can come with the two of you. Help you celebrate your boring as fuck monogamy. Uh, no. The reservation is for us. Uh huh. Just us. Mm hmm. Without you there. Explicitly without you there. I'll wear something nice. It's a big deal after all. <laughs> See you, love bugs, later. Relax, sweetie. Don't let him get to you today. Let's just go home and clean his blood off. <laughs> Elevator 666, departing for Lust in five minutes. Just want to let you know I'm not going to be back home until real late. I got something important tonight. Hey ah. there, buddy. You got a reservation? Oh, yeah. I'm with those two. This club is for couples only. It's what? No date. Reservation. No entry. Y you know, you have really nice eyes, Daddy. You fucking proud! That's a mood, Gabriella. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hello, hello, Blitzy. 
Stolas. Hey, you, uh, she busy tonight? Um, why do you ask? I was wondering if you want to come with me to a club tonight. Are you asking me on a date, Fitzy? I, yes, I suppose that is what's happening. How fast can you get down to Lust? I can be ready in 20. All right, fantastic. See you soon. I'll see you, Blitzy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Blitzy. I'm here. Wow. That's a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> well, well, I, I just wanted to look a little nicer for you. This is our first real date, after all. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess this is, huh? You again? Beat it, shithead! Ahem. Do we have a problem? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, my apologies, your house. Uh, please, go right in. is this? What made you choose such a place to bring me? Oh, it just sounded like I just thought we'd have a blast here, you know? God. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, Blitz, what are you looking at? I'm looking at nothing. How about that? Can I get you two off? I mean, start you two off with some drinks. Yes, um, perhaps some wine to share. Do you prefer red wine or white, Blitz? Or perhaps some champagne? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> perhaps all three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, Blitz, how was your day? Huh? Oh, uh, good, I guess. We killed a bunch of beardos. That sounds fun. How did you kill them? How? I, I mean, there was a lot of them, so I don't know, bullets? Right, right. So, what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I see some sexy faces around here tonight. Welcome, welcome to Aussie's. Lust Ring's number one place for all kinds of sick, twisted fantasies. Put on display for all you sleaze and sleazettes. The gem joint of Osmodius himself. Come on, give him some love. Did he do sales, Modius? Oh, no fucking way. Not him. I am the one and only Fizzarali. Some of you might recognize this dashing clown face from my numerous toy project replicas across the rings of hell. Gloriously designed by the big man himself, and, uh, ribbed for your pleasure tonight. We have a great lineup for you tonight. Ferocica Mayday, Wet Dream, and... The Squirters! But as everyone's warming up, I got a funny one for y'all. Did any of you hear about the bat shittery that happened at Lululand? <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh, wow. You know, I'll tell you what, I'd sure love to shake the hand of the crazy son of a bitch who decided to burn down that off-brand shithole and then slap a fat subpoena in it, because I'm very much looking uh, to sue. That robo-me made us more money entertaining those kids than the ones we sell to get you freaks off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean! I have four of them! <laughs> okay, keep that guy far away from me. So, without wasting any more time, our little opening act is a fresh one. Coming at us from a little imp from the Wrath Ring, give it up for Moxie! With no creative stage name whatsoever! Hello, everyone. Oh, <clears throat> hi. Uh, thank you for letting me be here. It's an honor to play. Uh, hurry up, boy. Uh, sing, boy. I sing, I sing. This song is for my beautiful wife, a surprise for our first anniversary. I love you, Millie. I love you more than the brimstone loves the fire, more than the elves. 
loves her bub more than a maggot loves gangrenous stubs. You make my spirit sing. Yeah, you make me glad I live in hell. Our love is a story sweet to tell. Yeah, you cast a special satanic spell over my heart. Love is a journey we decided to start. Yeah, I hope we'll never ever be apart. I love you, 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 I Ain't the place for sentimental sounds. What you expect from a proprietor like us? Your demon host, Osmodius, the embodiment of lust. Give me a thrust. <laughs> you show me some love. <laughs> from the groin to the bust, in desire we trust in the house of Osmodius. <laughs> Trumpet. He looked imp, he came here to sing your serenade. Perform your feelings on a velvety stage. Well, we got a saying that's popular in these parts. Only little bitches strum the strings in their hearts. You want to hang around this lustful town? Ditch the lovey dummy before we knock you around. Here we sing about wants and desire. Depravity, savagery, loin hotter than fire. So give me a thrust. Show me some love. From the groin to the bust, little imp, you just must in the house of Osmodius. Come on, sing us a song. Make sure the subject is getting it on. Make it gruff and tacky loud. Be sure to rhyme song and schlong. Go ahead, your mic's on. I want to. Yeah, what do you want? Butt stuff, piss play, bondage. Make gentle love to you. Uh. With a lipstick imp, you're really killing the vibe. Get a load of this dweeb and his unsatisfied bride. Hey now, I've watched those two pork many times. What? Blitz! And honestly, they make missionary look relatively exciting. That Blitzo? So you're showing your face? Hey everybody, this guy's a total disgrace. Some nerve you got to comment on a relationship. Last I checked, your love life is a pile of shit! Oh, Blitzo? I used to date. Oh, Verasica, you're here. A stroke on my plate. Yeah, but when it was my turn, he didn't know reciprocate. A selfish imp in the sheets. I'm just as bad in the streets. A reckless, heartbreaking freak. Who's that at your table? Is your date a demon prince? Stoic, is that you? Are you sleeping with an imp? Woo! My dark lord, how the mighty do fall. He used to have a smoking wife, a kid, you had it all. I hope you didn't give it up so you and him could get it up. You sold your life for a thrust. Now that's the spirit of the love. Grab your groin or a bust. You better get your hair bust. Pretend you don't see that crust. I'll take it your turn to dust. In the house. Trying to sing something for me, Mox. Yeah, I was. I love us. I love us just the way we are. Don't have to pretend to like to do things we don't. I've always got you alone to laugh at my stupid jokes. I'll never take you for granted. I'll always give you my best. And if you can offer the same fate, we'll handle. Cause I love you, cause I love you. You know what, this was a mistake, all right? Let's just, let's just leave. Oh, right, of course. Ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out.
thank you for inviting me out tonight. Despite everything that's happened, I, I enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. You know, I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could... I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just... I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk, or watch a movie, or maybe cuddle. Solace, don't act like what we have is anything but you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I just, I, I can't do it tonight, okay? I'm sorry. Now this, this is really fun. I just, I don't get most of these emotional things. Okay. Good night, Blitz. Night. You want me to uh, drop you off here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks right. I, uh, haven't been here before. <laughs> I went a little too hard with the confetti this time, though. I have, like, 
A rainbow in my vagina right now. Oh, hey! Is this the sweet pup you told me about? Excuse me? She's a fucking cutie! Where you been hiding, girl? <laughs> is there something funny? <laughs> nah, I'm just really high on all this tasty energy right now. Tech says you don't get invited out much. I hope this itty-bitty get-together can serve as a fun first time. Mm -hmm. I would have thrown a bigger one, but I couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Belle changed the locks. Mm. She says I'm a total jackass for trying, but hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. <laughs> anyway, yeah, B, this is Loda. Loda, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice to meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... She's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Tex, you didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful. You are my new favorite person. Am I, though? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> no, really. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, ooh, boy, you are hot as hell. But then I wanted to die, because it was so awkward, because he's more like a brother to me, you know, but not actually my brother. So I guess it was fine. I could hit that. Anyway, girl, you have a good time tonight. Get some sweets, get some eats, drink it, tear it, fuck it up. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, honey. Thank you for coming. Do you need anything? Are you having fun? Are you good? Are you drunk? Okay, good. Okay, see right. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? Why? You just got here. At least one drink, right? Nope, you really wouldn't like me after one drink. want to go hey that sounds like blitzo the oh it's silent asshole hey i knew it was you fuck man where you been you you're here for the party no, no i'm just here picking up my daughter oh shit you have a daughter now adopted man you're already leaving things just got started come in and show us all up again no no thank you but i think looney wants to head back oh uh, howdy next to you wants to leave watch it i mean we could stay a little longer. I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. Well, these people seem to know you. Come on. I think I want to give this another try. Please. Okay, fine. Maybe one drink. Blitz! 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 challenge for you. Oh, uh, he's gonna die. Alright, let's do this. From B's personal supply, the hardest shit there is. You ready, my man? Oh, born ready. Bring it, Sparky. I will drink you under this fucking table. You have no idea what kind of night I've had. <laughs> But there hasn't been a soul yet who can beat me at my own game. So you better bring the fire, baby. Oh, is Queen Bee too scared to lose to a little imp like me? Oh, okay. Let's get it on, you little bastard. Come on, Blitz. Fuck her up. You can do it. first i haven't had a first in a while that was magical seriously impressive i tip my crown to you imp boy respect ow, ow.
Hey, Loon, I don't mean to be a buzzkill here, but you're a dead guy dude is, um, he's seeming a bit out of control, like a mess. Yeah, it's worrisome. You want to maybe check on him or something? What? No, no, Blitz is fine. He's always a mess. Trust me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time, but he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose. So I feel like you should check up on him at least. Just see if something's up. Don't act like you know him like I do. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. I mean, good for him. But I can taste the flavor of people at my parties and it's giving off a very not okay vibe, you know? Oh yeah, and I bet you'd know the okay vibe, right? I mean, everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? Is that a problem with that sour cream? Don't follow me. <sighs> Sorry, yeah. Nope, I'll, uh, I'll check on her. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I know, I got a little spicy there. I just hope everything works out. Now let's dance. Blitz! Blitz! Where are you, shithead? Blitz! Oh, piss on a dick! What the fuck are you doing, Blitz? This guy. It looks like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy. Stop! Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. I'm just having fun with, uh, fuck is your name again? Dennis. Christ, on a stick, you would be a dentist. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not fucking a dentist tonight. I need a Monica or Alejandro in here. Shit. Better. Just... You don't need anyone else sucking your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Uh, no. Entdecke Audible Originals, Hörbücher und Podcasts. Audible. Jetzt kostenlos testen. What exactly is the sandbox then? It's a 3D metaverse. The building blocks are voxels. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. I had a really shitty day. Oh yeah? Is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Fuck, Fizz was right. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waste. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. Uh, it's, it's lonely. I don't wanna die alone. I'll be there, Dad. Now go the fuck to sleep, okay? need to throw up you see ladies and gentlemen on by any specimen the sir Young prince, you know excitement is unbecoming of a Goisha. Oh, right. But father told me, today is the day I am old enough to know my purpose and responsibility. Of course, I'm sure it will be wonderful. My little, uh, which son is this one? There are so fucking many. Stolas, your highness. Stolas, yes, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> that's the one. Oh, the old nice. boy. Well, my little one, it is finally your day of becoming a true part of the Goisha family. How good for you. Are you ready to know what you will be meant to do to serve hell? Yes, father. 
You will be entrusted with the study of the Earth's skies, the stars, the prophecies they hold, all that stuff. Isn't that fun? You will begin the studies of your grimoire, which will grant you access to the mortal realm to study and observe, and you will grow to be a mighty prince of hell with your own legions to lead and pass on your knowledge to. I will do my best, father. Wonderful. Also, son, you are destined to sire a precautionary addition to the Goisha family, so you are now engaged. Congratulations. Isn't she charming? No. <laughs> oh, that's an ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? <laughs> that usually works. Oh, would you like it if I took you to the circus in town? Children enjoy the circus, right? No, would that distract you enough I from your non-negotiable future marriage? Is there a spot that is close to the front, but also far enough that I don't have to... <sighs> oh, smell the poor? Want to see me make a horse? Crap. Sugar and its legs stopped working, so he had to amputate. Now it's a gross worm horse. <laughs> See, he gets it. Because horses, they make no sense. Okay, Blitzo, that's enough horsing around. Hey, everybody, look at this. It's banana pudding, the clown horsey. <laughs> I liked his broken horse joke. It was funny. Their legs do stop working when they eat too much sugar. It's called laminitis. <laughs> what a show! <laughs> that was real great. So, uh, <clears throat> that little clown that you have, my son really enjoyed that one. I was wondering if I could buy him. Buy him? Purchase him. Excuse yes, me? accurate. What? <laughs> My son doesn't have any friends, you see, and he liked the little clown boy. It's his birthday. He's so sad, and I don't want to deal with him. Can I write a check? Well, Fizzarelli is a big draw. He has a few more shows to be in today, so it would be pretty expensive. <laughs> no, no. The other one. Blitzow? Correct. How much? Uh, well, he's my son, so... Uh, mm, uh, how much you got in your pocket? A watered up five in a slim fit condom. Yeah, that's plenty. Done. Splendid. Fetch him for me and we will be on our way. I'm banana pudding and I like to dance. I am warm horse. No, I, I am sad. Why are you sad, warm horse? Because I have no legs. Oh. Well, that's okay. I lost my legs in the war. <gasps> the war? Yes, the great pirate war. No, no pirates. It's the great pirate war! If you keep talking about pirates, I will punch you. I fought bravely, but I could not run fast enough. They took my legs. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> Disgusting. No, it's cool. 
<laughs> well, Banana Pudding is here to save the day. With his magical feet, he dances around with. He will dance all over Warren Moore to make him feel better. And then... There'll be more of me then! <laughs> what so? That's so gross. Stop! I got a job for you. You are gonna spend the day with one of the Goisha princes. Ew, why? Because money. Now listen carefully. You are being brought out to be his playmate, but I want you to steal as much from those rich fuckers as you possibly can. Ew, but what if I get caught? Don't you want your family to be able to buy a bigger tent? Better food? Don't you want to be able to help me and your mama out? Of course I want to help Mama. Then you gotta do this. Everything those rich fucks have will be worth a fortune. But if I'm caught, I'm scared, Dad. There are scarier things, aren't there, son? But... Yes, Papa. Here is a new friend, my son. A happy birthday. A friend? I guess. Hi. Uh, I'm Blitzer. I'm Stoneless. It's nice. Ouch. Don't borrow that one. He bows to us, idiot. Oh, right. Sorry, father. I'm so good at daddying. No, you're not. This is my book on the difference between frogs and toads. There's a lot of differences. And this is my book on plants and herbs. Did you know plants can hear you? Plants are boring. This is all boring stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never had a friend to share my books with. You know it would be fun? A game. Let's play Treasure Hunt. What's that? It's where we pretend we are pirates and we go around the house collecting all the nicest things and then we throw them out the window. We... Throw them out the window? Yes. Since when did pirates throw things out windows? Since, like, the dawn of time. Come on. Pirates are always throwing stuff out windows. I don't think they had windows. What? Did your book say that? Yes, actually. Several. Well, in this game, we're throwing them out the window because it's fun. Well, that's an odd game. <gasps> Is this an imp game? Sure. Why not? Well, if it's what you want to play, let's do it. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! diary? No. This is my new grimoire. It's a spell book. I have to learn it so that I can access the living world. The living world? Like the one with humans and stuff? Where the sinners come from? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yes. I'm supposed to learn to use it to study the sky. Why? My dad says I can find prophecies, but I don't really know. But I'm supposed to. That's what my job will be when I grow up to join the rest of the Goisha family. Well, you know what I'm gonna do when I grow up? I'm gonna run my own circus, and I'm gonna be the most famous imp ever, and I'll be able to do what I wanna do. 
all day. Sure I'm going to make so much money and buy myself a big building with a big office. A big office? For a circus? Yeah, a big office. Circus business with clowns and horses. And the horses will all have good names like Stapler and Biscuit Queen. <laughs> I'm sure you will. That sounds like a good business. Yeah, and if you apply, I'll hire you. Maybe. <laughs> Says, You'll hire me? Maybe, yeah, if I feel like it. Well, I hope I qualify. <laughs> You'd be a good boss. You say that with sarcasm, but I totes would. <laughs> Still being married isn't a big enough occasion, but to be fair, it's no picnic being married to a boring stiff like Stolas. Stella, what in hell is this? Ugh, Stolas, you know I like throwing parties. Plus, it's true, so you can come if you want. lays there staring at the wall and I have to do everything. It's embarrassing. I'm glad one egg fell out of me so I could stop pretending to want to fuck his scrawny twig ass. <laughs> what a pathetic fucking man. <laughs> do you have anything stronger than this? We have absinthe, your highness. Bring me all of it. We got this nasty imp trying to sneak into your chambers. What should we do with him? Into my chambers, really? Oh, well, that is concerning. Mm. Leave him to me. I will handle him accordingly. I bless you. Follow me, imp. Yes. Look, yes. I, I didn't mean to interrupt your whatever the party. I, I was just trying to... Don't bother with excuses. I know why you were here. You do? Yes. You were here to ravish me, weren't you? Uh... You? Why else would you be breaking into my room? You could have asked to visit, you know. It's been a long time, but I have a very good memory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I figured, you know, since you're a prince and all, it might just be easier to you know, scale the walls and slip on in. It certainly is easier than going through your fucking staff. One would think you might be here for nefarious reasons if you are sneaking in during the cover of night. Well, I wanted to crash the party, and it's always more fun, you know, to make an entrance. I recall how you enjoy making an entrance. So, over two decades since I last saw you, are you still a circus clown? Oh, <laughs> no, no, not anymore. No, I kill people now. Oh, <laughs> how afraid should I be? Well, I mean, how afraid do you want to be? Oh, well, um, well, I, uh, <laughs> you know, I was teasing. I don't really... You know, you seem pretty tense. How about I help you out there? Uh, 
Um, <laughs> you know, this is, um, getting a wee bit... Is it hot? I'm starting to feel it getting very hot. Oh, what are you doing? I barely... ...want me this way. I can do this real fast. Sorry, I fucked your husband. What the fuck was that, Stolas? That was the sound of a fucking divorce! Sweetness has run foul without a change. You're lost, exhausted by your time on stage. Then you walked in my room, and like sparks in the dark, life was suddenly thrilling and new. What's between you? Just a comfortable lie. I'm the fool who believes when you look in my eyes, Prince. All alone upon your throne, your power is so frail. You raise your voice, you have no choice. Inside your gilded chair. The fuck are you doing? Reflecting. Well, stop! It's annoying to hear you screeching your silly woes all the time. Why are you still here? You leave with fear on weekends, but then you stay around the house despite everything. I like tormenting you. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. I know what I did. I would feel bad if I hurt you, but we both know I didn't do that. You and I were arranged for one reason, to birth a precautionary heir to the Goetia family. Nothing more. I tried so many years to make it comfortable for us to have this family, but it was never enough. The only reason I have endured your constant insults and cruelty was for that girl to have a normal life. I cannot do this anymore. I want you out. Now. What do you mean, out? I mean out. Out of this palace. Out of my life. We are getting the divorce. How dare you? What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? And drill for I don't care what your arrogant brother thinks. And the only thing the Goetia family wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over. I'm done. Fine. I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had, and I know you'll pay for it. <sighs> Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah. This was the finale of season one and the introduction of season two so if you guys enjoyed it um you know just well put like subscribe or or just do one of the following personally i do not it's not that important for me what is important, however, is that you enjoyed this video.
So yeah. Um, now there is gonna be two more episodes, and then the the uploads of the of this series will slow down tremendously. Out of the fact that they, as you see by the video, the past video right now, Vivian, aka Vivzy Pop, that the thing is that she uploads these episodes monthly, or it can take him up two months. But don't worry, I have a backup. And uh, there's, I have something in the works that will keep you guys entertained in the meantime. Or should I just not, should I just do like every episode, every, like every new episode that comes out, should I just react like that? Regardless, I'm gonna end the video here. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video for the next episode actually so yeah say go say off bye bye